hello everyone welcome to today's session we are going to discuss about jenkins pipeline how to clone a git repo into a jenkins so my name is Mithun. let's go ahead and start with the session so in the last session we have created a jenkins pipeline and this is the code which we have created to create a simple pipeline job so uh, with this pipeline job we were able to create a, a small pipeline which shows up that welcome to affordable web app pipeline so we're going to restructure the same pipeline code and we will copy you know we will go to the github option which says you know pipeline syntax with the help of pipeline syntax we will select git uh, from the drop down and then we will copy paste the url that we have to have and we will you know create and uh, if it is a private uh, repository we will uh, you know update username and password and generate a co code and then we will paste it in the script so when we are doing the jenkins make sure that we have the jenkins installed with the git so i will uh, quickly go to my ec2 instance that i've just logged in so here if i type git minus 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 version i have the git version installed in my jenkins server and let's go to my uh, jenkins here so let me go to my dashboard I have my pipeline configure. So let me go to the code yesterday, what we have done. So instead of this particular code, we had a code that is echo. I'll just paste that here. So there's not be any confusion. So I applied So the same code that we had and instead of this particular code we are going to uh, type or uh, create a code for github to clone the repository so we will go to the pipeline syntax it will open a fresh new page snip generator so here we are going to check for git or git and uh, we will see you know we will go to my code or the github i'm using a github ec2 instance that i've created earlier so i'm just going to copy copy the link here url um, okay good and paste that url and i'm not using any branch here so it will by default it will take the main url or the main and i've not created any credentials suppose we have we are creating a we had a username and a password if it is a private so we can um, use this github app or ssh key or secret file or text or whatever it is and then we can update the username and the password let's say uh, what is the username that I have given in my github so I have to use the same username and I have to give the same password to connect to my and I can create an ID and update that information since it is a public I'm not using that particular option and uh, we will directly go ahead and click on generate a pipeline code and we would see that there is a pipeline code which is generated here and we will come down to this particular space it says we will remove this one and paste that particular code and apply and then we will save that option and try to run that or build now so our code is getting built So let's see the logs here it shows okay 
there is something which is missing out here fetch tag force progress it is okay so there is something which is showing up which is not the right way to do it let's see what exactly the issue is here it's on a public branches main okay Pull. okay let's see if i say main as a branch credentials and if i type it shows it's a main branch right so let's copy this now and see what happens go to the configure apply or save or in build now Okay, it shows the build. Check the console output. Okay, it's updated. Updated variable dot pf. Uh, that's a terraform file, and uh, we had a main dot tf as well in that. So it's it looks like it is copied. okay it's shows perfectly fine so uh, we have selected include include in polling so that's a, maybe the reason why it is not created it correctly so that means our code is working fine So come down to this uh, git build data do we have okay there is a git build data pipeline setup okay workspace Okay, in workspace you have a git and main.tf and uh, variable.tf. So just go ahead and check with this here that main.tf and variable.tf that's the two files and git along along with that git has been copied down to our um, Jenkins server for uh, using that particular code. So that's all for today's session. Uh, I hope. Uh, so we just cleared oh, with that option here that is uh, clone the GitHub repository into Jenkins. And there is more videos which is coming up. So stay tuned. Have a great day ahead.